Every now and then in life you meet people who would affect you in a very deep and impactful way. And they're usually people that you don't really expect. And so this piece is about one of those people in my life. During visiting hours, I had to read the sick people. The kind of people who had no one. It was my punishment. Catholic school community service for farting on a nun's muffin. <laughs> it was an accident, I swear to God. And every day would start the same way. She'd say, how you doing? I'd say, I'm doing all right. She'd say, I'm doing just fine. Point in fact, the cancer had taken both of her breasts. And I imagine where her cancerous breasts get thrown, two of them mourn their lost bodies. But she could laugh. She had a laugh like a welcome mat. Wore the same kind of smile curious George would wear if he finally came out of the closet to be with the man in the big yellow hat. Yeah. She'd touch where they used to be and say, you know, it's probably good that they're gone. My ex-husband used to go about them all wrong. She said half the time the only reason my nipples were erect was because they were trying to jump off my body to run away from his tongue. <laughs> I was 13 years young thinking to myself, oh my god, you're awesome. <laughs> For me, it was all about visiting hours. Hadn't read to her in days. She was too busy teaching me how to watch horror movies and laugh. Because all the monsters all you can think of just aren't as scary as letting yourself be talked and believe in only half of what you are. She put a hand on each scar and say, if you really want to get scared, watch the news. It's a steeplechase. Every day, thousands of people face going under thousands of knives. But it's still more cost effective for doctors to pay out lawsuits than it is to save lives. So don't try walking a mile in my shoes. Just wear my pajamas and walk in my dreams instead. Because this isn't a death man. She'd say, I'm not going to give up today. I'm not going to lay here and take it. Because life is the loosest is getting an orgasm from my ex. So sometimes, I just got to fake it. So if anyone ever tells you, you're not good enough, you're not smart enough, give up your foolish dream. If anyone ever tells you to quit, you got to make them wear a diaper on their mouth. Because man, they are just talking shit. And she'd smile and say, you gotta let your body be the rocking chair that soothes the tired body of hope. Let your arms be the rope around the neck of self loathing Let your skin be the clothing that keeps compassion warm on the cold streets of regret. She says, don't pray for me yet. And I said, no problem. Religion is something I gave up on, along with dieting. But love, love is a feeling that in me and through me I've often called God so I will love you. She looked me straight in the heart and said, it's a shame. They don't make hospital beds for two. But kid, you got your own shit to do. And I can't continue to let you doing all right and be doing just fine. Not when there's a world full of people tired of dressing in shadows just waiting for you to shine. Now bring me my goddamn Jella. She liked Jella. Would you like me to? During visiting hours, I had to read to the people who had no one. But this is about a woman named everyone. This isn't about death. It's about the fact that I can still feel her breath in my ear. Sometimes I can even hear her saying, You are not giving up today. Because I live in a world full of seen on underdogs. And I'm pretty sure we're all tired of wearing our choke chains. We're tired of being treated like walking canes. In a world so blind, no one can find each other. We just keep bumping into one another like people are just building. Buildings made of bone will collapse every time they're made to believe that we're meant to stand alone. But you're not. Some of us can love. Some of us look like jokes. Not funny. It's just the way people keep falling for us. And yeah. Some of us are going to get cancer. And some of us are going to fall in our showers. Until then, you've got to shine because all the time you get is just visiting hours. 